And it's not just movie theaters making a return tonight. Cheerleaders are back on the sidelines at high school football games. It comes after a week filled with controversy and a reversal by the state, which initially banned the sport just days ago. So let's sort things out. CBS 13's Heather Jansen is live in Stockton, where Lincoln High School just wrapped up their first game of the season, Heather. Yeah, they're actually still going just about to wrap up only minutes away. You can hear cheers throughout this evening. A lot of people are very excited to be back on the field, and that includes cheerleaders who are cheering in the stands. But there's still a lot of confusion over what's allowed and what's not. Come on, come on, let's go. Shouting from the sidelines. School spirit felt far and wide. Uh -huh. I never miss a game, <laughs> so I'm excited. In Stockton, excitement for Lincoln High Cheer, their first football game of the season. Th this is like their only outlet. Lupe Aguilar and her daughter Haley Lucero ready to go. After the state tossing back and forth this week, whether to allow cheerleaders a spot on the field, ultimately saying yes. It's been confusing since day one. Confusing because she and her team quite literally still feel stunted. It kind of just hurts your feelings. The school saying no jumping for joy for now, just spaced out and stomping. Though the state tells CBS 13 nothing in their new guidance stops cheer from stunting, saying it can happen when a county isn't in the red like San Joaquin as long as they're tested. That's happening for Lincoln football, so Haley wants to know why isn't that happening for her cheer team? Us and the football players are in the same like league, like why we both can't get tested, like both teams. These cheerleaders hoping to elevate their skills, feeling sidelined, unsure what flies for now. Well, many families tell me they want these rules to be more clear and concise for all, not left up for different districts to make their own interpretations of things. Back to you guys. Heather, thank you.